geeking out. Ah! That's my mic that just fell. Oh dear. What's up guys, Michael here, and I am so, so sorry that I did not put up a video last week. I was in Ohio for speech. And not just anywhere in Ohio, but Athens, Ohio. And not just anywhere in Athens, but we were in a cabin that had no signal. So yeah. Anyway, to make up for not posting a video last week and posting this week's video late, I'm gonna make two videos. So the first one is while I was in Athens, Ohio, in the middle of nowhere, cabin on a hill, trapped in the snow, I got to thinking. I am really surprised that I have friends. For me personally, it's really, really weird that coming to college, I have made so many friends. Because in high school, I didn't really have anyone. Like, I had a few people, like two people who I could actually call friends. But here, I have a lot. Growing up, I never really had any friends. I was always a loner, I was always too shy to say anything, too shy to speak my mind. And I thought that's how I was gonna stay in college. Boy, was I wrong. In college, I thought that I would have the same lonesome career that I've had throughout my entire life. But one day has changed my life completely. The beginning of my freshman year, we had a lot of different meet and greet opportunities to meet new people and try to make friends, and I didn't really want to go to any of them. Because one, that's a lot of people, and two, a lot of them would probably be really fake and nice until you actually get to know them, and then they're like, Grrr. And I didn't want to deal with that. But one fateful day, one of my roommates freshman year dragged me up to the lobby to one of the meet and greets in our dorm, and I met one of the most influential people in my life so far. There I was, in this group of random girls that I didn't know and didn't really want to know, trying to slouch away when she walks over to me, sees my Doctor Who shirt, and immediately starts geeking out to me. That's when I knew I found a friend. <laughs> We ended up talking for well over the appropriate time for the meet and greet. Everyone left and we were in the lobby talking for maybe three hours <laughs> just by ourselves on one of the couches. And after that day, I didn't think I'd see her again, but a few days later, I was sitting at my desk with my dorm door propped open because it was really stuffy and she walks by. And you can tell that we're already friends by this point because we do our now normal and natural greeting where she pokes her head in, goes meow, and I return the favor with meow. And when that happened the first time, I knew that we were gonna stay friends. <laughs> After a while of talking some more, we went up to her room, and from there on, I met a lot of people in her unit 
who turned out to be some of my other best friends and one of the influences that got me to join speech team and my life went from being this awkward loner don't really want to talk to anyone if I don't have to self to being what I am now in two weeks. <laughs> so this video is a thank you. Thank you to Isabella Ferrari, one of my best friends that I could ever have because you were there for me when no one else was. Well, that's it for that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends if you want to, and I will see y'all later. Bye.